As summer ends, shorebirds rise from the mud and take to the skies. They navigate thousands of miles along ancient flyways, lines of ancestral memory that wrap around the globe. Our quest is to follow the migrations of these birds. They're moving really quickly and they're moving very far. Where do they touch down? I'm hoping to find some of the stopover sites. The birds were roosting here this morning. We see a lot of tracks of red knots. They stay here for like two, three weeks to refuel in order to make it to northern Siberia. Thousands of kilometers of seawall have replaced natural coastline along much of eastern China. The rates at which things are changing are much faster than they've ever been. These birds are shrinking in size, and we think that Arctic warming is playing a big role here. There's every chance that eastern curlew could be extinct within a few decades. Alarm bells go off. We have a new problem, and that's the war in Ukraine. I can't go to where we need to be at this stage in our research. To help them to survive, you firstly need to understand why they die. Tracking technology has really helped. It's given us the first pictures on what's happening as birds migrate. We've tracked AAD crossing over the Great Barrier Reef, still flying over some of the highest mountains in Southeast Asia, and she's touched down in Taiwan. Hundreds of people began searching for AAD. Oh yeah, that's a godwit. A godwit that we might have seen in Chile. Crossing borders that we cannot cross. The sheer number of good people around this flyway arguing passionately for the conservation of these birds. We can learn from the birds. They tell a story that the world has troubles and we should actually listen to them.